Well, hello. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. As you guys can probably see, Inspector Horace is over there giving me the stank eye. That's because I have one of his treats. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch it in his mouth and he'll, if he'll leave us alone for the rest of the video. Woo! All right, good baby. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm doing the Luna Lux box from Wolf and Time. I am super excited. I really loved the Wolf and Time box. And other than Samhain, Earth Day is my freaking favorite day of the year. And I just, I love it so much and I'm so excited. And that is the theme of the box is earthy deliciousness. So I cannot wait to see what she's done. Now this box is $68 a month plus shipping and 10 items inside. And let's just open her up. All the links for everything will be in the description area. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous sticker. Oh my goodness, we're getting some rainbows, yay! It's been storming, which has been so upsetting to me because I just want sunshine. And yay, it blessed us with some rainbows for the video. Oops. Here is her business card. And look at the gorgeous sticker. I love that. Can't wait to use that. The trees call to us. They rustle their leaves in whispers and beckon us to touch them. We are connected to them and all that is created on this beautiful earth. To honor them and our planet during the month of Earth and Arbor Day, we have curated your box to help you dive into plant and tree magic. We will also be honoring family, our ancestor roots, and all that binds us together through nature's energy and self-care. Beautiful. All right. You know what's funny is that this time I just went in with every intention of just like ripping it and not worrying about it. And that's the time that it all came off perfectly. What do you know? <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. Oh, hold on. Wow. Oh, is that not just gorgeous? I love that so much. A Tree's Life is an original watercolor painting I did in honor of as above, so below, as below, so above. I say this after casting protection circles and taking them down. I believe that with the tree of life and many symbols in our world, we see a reflection. The branches reflect the design of the roots and in life there is always a correspondence between the laws and phenomena of the various planes. The tree has veins that dig into the earth and the heart beats openly in its trunk. It is alive and it keeps us alive with its very existence. And it looks like she did a song with the bee in the hive called the tree of life. Oh, I can't wait to check that out. I am obsessed with the song for the willow and the owl video. I've listened to it several times now and Kat and everyone else in that song did an amazing job. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking that out, but I will also link this one. And then this was right on top. We got some beautiful leaves. And we have a tarot card. Ooh, I haven't seen this deck. And I believe this is the Emperor. It's interesting. And we are in an Emperor year, and I'm definitely feeling the Emperor energy. <laughs> we have this artwork on the moon and trees. A Celtic tree calendar. And then we have a healing earth ritual. And I think this might also be a box in collaboration with Apothecary at Home, which is another subscription box service. I didn't know that in the other video, but now I know. <laughs> and this is featuring Elder, which is exciting. And we have Elderberry Syrup, which is always an amazing thing to have, but especially during the situation that we're all in. And I will touch back on these if they reference something in the box, but for now, we're moving on to the next thing I see, which sounds like it might be jewelry. And it looks like a bracelet with a beautiful tree of life. We'll find out what stone this is in a minute. That's what it looks like. The handmade bracelet in your box is made from jasper and has either a gold or silver tree charm intertwined within its weave. The tree represents our connection to the forest and the woods, as well as our family and ancestor tree. Green Jasper or Rainbringer is a stone of balance that heals and releases negative patterns and energy. 
It connects to the heart chakra and is an earth element. And it looks like they're doing some kind of a cool like Willy Wonka style like prize or if you get like the golden ticket, <laughs> you're a winner. So if you got a different kind of bracelet made out of wood, um, that means that you won. So I'll show the papers at the end so you can read more about it, but that's pretty cool and neat. So congrats whoever gets that. I love that. Um, and I will be including this in my upcoming giveaway just because I'm not really into bracelets and they never fit me. I have a freakishly small wrist and so most of my bracelets end up being anklets and then they end up getting broken because I'm just wild and get caught on everything. <laughs> so if you'd like to win this, be sure to check that out. All right, the next thing that I see is something like this and we have a beautiful candle. I love the jar that it's in. I think it has like a, I'm not sure, I'm like kind of similar to a fleur de lis, but I don't know. And then we have some stones. That's really cool. It smells kind of spearminty, maybe. It has an interesting scent. Like it immediately is triggering a memory for me, but I can't think of what exactly it is. But I would say it's like a creamy, minty scent. Candle goes with the healing earth ritual. I've often gone into my backyard, gotten down on my knees and pulled the earth's energy in with a grateful heart to fill my soul and recharge my mind. When I get back to my great mother, I do this ritual. It is a page from my own grimoire I made but created just for you. Use it when you need to receive or when you need to give back. The hand poured candle is made from soy organic wax. A cotton wick has sacred nature pebbles from my secret meditation place. A pinch of mica and the following essential oils to enhance earth healing. It has spearmint, cypress, cedarwood, common myrtle, and cistus, ancient essential oil. That sounds really cool. Again, it smells really familiar. And it might just be the spearmint, but, oh man, I keep, I keep getting this memory, but it's so fuzzy. <laughs> and the next thing I see here looks like some kind of a spray. And we have this beautiful blue glass bottle. I prefer my sprays to be in glass. And let's give it a shake. See what it smells like. It has a light but refreshing scent. I wanna say citrusy, but like oranges. Your blue glass bottle has an earthy aroma that lifts your spirit while grounding you at the same time. Use it on your bed, your car, your furniture, and for yourself to bring in the earth's healing energy to you. I use the abundance of earth plants and flowers to create the spray so that you can feel cleansed, refreshed, and deep in the forest. It has water, alcohol, essential oils of pettigrain, grapefruit, cedarwood, black spruce, ginger, bergamot, cypress, green mandarin, cardamom, and Siberian fir. I like that. It's a good blend. I don't have anything that smells like this, so I'm going to enjoy that. The next thing I see is something like this. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Look at this. We got a beautiful little besom. I love this so much. We have some lavender, a gold feather, a bronze skeleton key, some abalone, and we have like a little ocean jar. We have some sand and it looks like we have a message inside. How freaking adorable is this? Oh my God, I love this so much. <laughs> Let's see what it says about it. Besoms are a representation of what we can take from nature and make into a magical tool. I add feathers, herbs, and crystals to the one I have and use it to brush off negative energy attached to me or to objects. It says, your besom comes with a triquatra symbol, charm, and a small crystal. The triquatra represents the triple goddess, the body, spirit, and I don't think this is what I have. I feel so guilty because I won this. I guess she's doing the same thing for like, um, oh my goodness, why is my brain failing me? So along with the charm bracelets, she's also doing like a mystery besom. So if you get one of the special ones like this, this means you won something. Oh my God, that's so cool. Ah, but um, yeah, I'll have to reach out to her and see if I can uh, give it to one of you guys, whatever the prize is, because I want to spread the love. Cause I just love, this is enough for me. Just winning this really cool one is awesome. So now I feel bad if you think you're just gonna look like this. Uh, okay, but let me just back it up and explain, I guess the, the normal one. The normal besom that you should be getting in the box has a triquatra symbol charm and a small crystal. The triquatra represents the triple goddess, the body, the spirit, and the earth realms and is used for protection. 
When you connect to elements from the earth, you find grounding in them and add things that are personal to you and your broom, your intentional energy, and use it for your spiritual cleansing. This is just what the, the winter ones will look like. But the other one, um, I just explained, but this is so exciting and beautiful. I love this. I just, this little freaking bottle, are you kidding me? Ugh, so cool. The next thing that we have is something like this. It feels very heavy. So I'm gonna guess it's a stone, but it's flat. Like, you know, let's see. Ooh, oh my gosh. I think this is petrified wood because it feels like it. Like if you guys have ever touched petrified wood, then you know what I'm talking about, how it's like a stone, but like it's not. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful. Oh, I love petrified wood. Um, I've only been inside like one petrified forest, the one in Napa uh, or Calistoga, I guess. But yeah, the energy is so beautiful and I love this. And you guys can kind of see those little sparklies inside. I love petrified wood for like the connection that you feel to the earth, but especially just how immediately grounded you are. Like, this is beautiful. Millions of years old, petrified wood comes from the Greek root petro, which means rock or stone. It happens when a tree turns fossilized through the process of permineralization. It works with the root and third eye chakras and is the element of earth. It teaches us that planet provides everything we need, helps us overcome scarcity consciousness, and supports us in overcoming negative emotional patterns. It cleans the slate from negative karma from our ancestors and frees you from the echoes of your past. It will help you open up your ancient wisdom and restore you to balance from below to above. So beautiful. Wow. All right. The next thing that we have here is in a little baggie. And again, it's from Apothecary at Home, which is an herbalist subscription box, which is really freaking cool. We have a little baggie full of 30 black elderberry seeds. That is so cool. Oh, how beautiful. And then we have a jar full of elderberries. Look at that. I'm assuming it's so we can make our elderberry syrup. Oh, it smells so good. I want to eat. I just want to eat that. <laughs> so it comes with this recipe card on how to make elderberry syrup. Oh my gosh. And then it has this little bottle. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> I love that. The Elderberry Herb Kit from Apothecary at Home. Herbalism is a practice that is used by all cultures and all paths. We use it for medicine, for magic, for food, and for aromatherapy. To bring you closer to nature's source to live a more holistic life, I have collaborated with Shannon at Apothecary at Home. This beautiful soul has put together a kit to help you with creating an herbal elderberry syrup and gives you both the recipe and the properties on the included card. When you create it, you can infuse it with your own energy, your own added ingredients, and your own ritual purpose. And it's a woman-owned small business, which again, I will link everything in the description area. I love elderberry syrup, so I can't wait to make my own. And the next thing I see here is something like this. And then we have like a, an oil of some kind or maybe perfume, looks really pretty. It has leaked a little bit, so I'll smell it from here. But this is what it looks like. How beautiful is that? So hopefully you guys can see all the beautiful herbs there and there's a crystal in there as well. To add to your aroma experience, I have made you an essential oil roller with the intent of ancient wisdom, warmth, and both body and spiritual protection. It has myrrh, frankincense, and cassia, dandelion root, astralagus root, and chrysanthemum, and crystals of lavender and golden onyx. And like I said, it has a very spicy, uh, warm scent, which is not my preference. So I will be including this in the giveaway, but it is beautiful. And I love the like bamboo lid, very pretty. And then we have something that looks like this, which is super freaking cool. Very beautiful. Let's see what's inside here. So we have this piece of wood and I think I know what it is because she has included a few items with these kinds of things. <gasps> yeah, definitely. These kind, this is like the softest material ever. Oh my God, I just love it so much. I need a blanket of this. Um, so yeah, we have this like beautiful, soft, gorgeously soft. And we have some string. 
And then we've had this yarn before. It's also gorgeously soft. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I have another little feather. And another little feather. Luckily Horace is not here or he'd be eating this. And then we have some rope. And we have six beads here. This is a Shaman Ancestor Spirit Stick DIY kit. It's a bonus. I have supplied you with a kit for making an ancestor or family spirit stick. It includes a piece of driftwood I collected and cleaned, a cotton bag, six unique beads, wool yarn, string, faux fur, a feather, and cotton cord. It is a starter kit so that you can add your own personal elements to it from your family. Examples would be hanging photos, items from family that are meaningful, nature elements, or anything that honors them. You can carve into your stick symbols, names, or words that connect you to spirit and help you create an offering of gratitude. Hang your items from the stick horizontally and place it up on the wall in a sacred space to call to spirit. When you are done and you want to share, take a picture and tag us on Instagram so we can see. I will have mine up on, on our account as well. I love that. I love making my own things, especially when it has meaning like that. Ah, oh, so beautiful. All right, and then we have one more freaking item left. Can you believe it? Wowza. And then we have a Celtic Tree Oracle by Charlene Hidalgo and illustrated by Jimmy Manton. 25 cards and guidebook set. The deck comes with this little book and it gives you a little preface about it. Look how beautiful that picture is. And it has like a tree divination system. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And according to this chart, in the Southern Hemisphere, I would be an alder or I would fall under hazel and apple. All right, and then this is what it would say for like the hazel tree, which is interesting that it's associated with the goddess Isis. And then we have the apple. So interesting layout, can't wait to get into this, but let's do our usual. I will cleanse the cards real quick and then flip through them all and pull one for all of us. But this is the back of the card, they're matte. They're pretty big. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Give us one card for everyone watching this video. What do you need to know? We got the beautiful Hawthorne, number six. And here is the first page for Hawthorne. And then the last two here. And I freaking love that we all got this card. Exactly, I think, what we're all dealing with. Like spring cleaning, not just our homes, but our relationships, our habits. Just releasing things that no longer serve us. And making room for the good things to show up in our lives. So, love that. Time of planting seeds. And I think we're all in that mode. So, what a perfect, perfect card. That's beautiful. Number 14, Blackthorn. Oh, I really like the images. They're full of light and simplicity.
circle. How pretty. And the last card and that's a cute little deck i don't have anything like this one all right so that was everything that was inside of the luna lux box for april she did not disappoint this month no 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 i knew she was going to be in her earthy goddess element and she definitely delivered okay so this is the first page if you would like to pause to read about it there and the second page and next month's theme is going to be crafting cuisine, kitchen magic. That's exciting. So if I had to pick a favorite item, oh, that's going to be hard because I love everything all together. It's perfect. I love that I get to work with my hands and make my own things by using the wonderful elderberry kit and also the shaman stick kit. But if I absolutely have to pick just one favorite, I think it's going to be the little besom. I just think it's so freaking cute and beautiful and I love the energy from it. Um, and then it would be like the artwork and the stone. But honestly, I love everything. It all works together. And so, yeah, let me know down below what you guys thought about this box and what your favorite item was. And all the links will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.